Lads, it's time for some quick maths because when we actually look at this tournament, it seems like we may have a record on our hands. <laughs> all right, all right. I will say very quickly here. The winner's grand final. It is going to be LGD, the home team, taking the stage right now. And we're starting to see everybody flood back into the arena right now. They're starting to chant for the home team, the only team left. Tiny, once DK hits six, is gonna get chased out. So, uh, so the, like the fast paced is the name of the game for LGD here. And OG, last pick, a spirit breaker of all here, is putting the Tiny into a core role. You're gonna get a, a, almost all the last hits because the animation, the attack animation of a Dark Seer is pretty bad. You should be able to get a lot of denies because Ion Shell, especially level one, is pretty easy to beat. And uh, we'll see how OG is going to find a way to be able to break that opportunity for Ame. And their idea is with the Spirit Break, I mean, he's going to be pulling around. We're going to see No Tail here, maybe die here as Challenge. Just keeps on staying on top of him with the Caustic Finale. Oh, he did no not tail. expect this level one Caustic. Laying out some taunts, but the dual breath is going to slow him down and he's going to die underneath the tower. First kill of the game goes to PSG LGD. But at least it's not that first blood. We are going to need charge in from Jerix. He's collected a, uh, a nice big wave. Now Seth's going to try and pop. That's why uh, Ame and X Nova, they're going to try and chase him away from this wave. Maybe even kill him here as that fly is going to show up. And sure enough, you can stack the waves all you want, but they're not going to let them ion shell clear. The exception of Thompson in mid lane, but even his CS is not, you can work around that. And they do spot the rotation down from bottom. And this is something that Thompson does so well, and it's very unique to his playstyle is how early and how often he's going to invade that jungle area. He doesn't want to just go into the bottom lane and pressure your tower, he wants to kill you while you farm. And that's why PSG LGD choose this DK, not just because it can beat the Tiny in lane, but because it's a hero that can pressure the mid tower whenever Thompson does try and go for those rotations. Bottom lane, they do manage to kill FY with the Ion Shell combo. Jerex, stun comes out and they will trade supports. And Seth is getting a lot out of this lane. As much of a free time as Ame has had, so is Seth, they don't really have a way to kill him easily. No real hard stun aside from Ame. There's no real follow up to that. But he's out of mana right now. This should be a death. Yeah, yeah. A little bit too greedy. Even if he did have the mana for Surge, X Nova made sure to be there. So he could have disrupted. Lane is Anna with Chemical Rage and Acid Spray. He's going to start trying to deal with the stacks that have been laid out to him. Those are real nice stacks. And the timing that we're looking for on this Alchemist is anything before 12 minutes. Anna will be happy about. Oh, yeah. That'd be like the ideal situation. Radiant. They're gonna try and uh, kill No Tail on top lane. They really have to. Drop the veil. They do have the epicenter if they want to try and go for it, but instead, Chalice just goes for the body blocks, and it looks nice. like it's in he's dead. That is so much damage. Yeah. Veil, four levels of the Sandstorm. You're not escaping that. Timing of the Alchemist, who is rapidly approaching his own timing. That's why it's so important for Chalice to try and get these invasions, but he's been spotted in more ways than one. He does have that charge onto him that was there, but they actually managed to get the stun. Chalice trying to get away. One for a strike isn't good enough. Body blocks from Zeb, disruption out. Now with Somnus here, it's hard for OG to take this fight any longer, at least that chase. They're still gonna try and defend their tier one. That'll buy Anna more time in top lane. Jerex trying to pull the creep wave away, and he's going to charge out, but he's going to run into Ame, who's already pre-pepped his ulti. He does manage to get him with the charge bash, and as a result, Ame is going to miss out on the kills. The ice pack just falls a bit shot. The SGLGD can go ahead and invade on this right side, but you can see No Tail has brought Thompson up here. And they might just be able to get three as a result. They chain stun on it, challenge the toss up in the air. They pick up that battery rip and out of the epicenter. It could be no tail in trouble, especially with that fail. It's so much magic damage. The support does die, but for OG, they call it space and gold for Anna. Radiance now is flying out. We talked about the 12 before 12 minutes. 10 is incredibly respectable. Yeah. With 500 gold. This is still a very good timing for OG to hit. 
PSG LGD have not just been able to invade the jungle that often. Because they want to take mid tower try. first. And we've seen Somnus try and take this mid tower, but every single time, OG had formed a strong defense with the Radiance up. Maybe Anna, he thinks he's strong, but the Kevin Grange going out for the Ice Path is going to be good enough to protect him. As now Somnus being run down. What a stun! As Somnus pops out of the jungle and hits three, but still, Somnus being chased down by the Zion. Anna's way too strong right now. Powering over everybody. The Unstable Precaution spotting FY for a moment. FY trying to hide. The Unstable Precaution does explode on the Alchemist. So FY will force them to chase a little bit farther, but eventually he will die. What a big win for OG. As you said, that timing was all important. Your side with the Chemical Rage. Oh, you missed so many things. There's a lot of six synergies for the OG side. They need to be able to get kills in order to get towers, and they're gonna start by killing FY in the mid lane. Chalice is gonna TP in, trying to return fire. Pops the veil, the charge coming in, and Chalice, he needs to be careful here. They do have X-Nova, who's gonna be able to disrupt up the same. BKB's been used. Up in the BKB, they have the God Strength on Anna, but he just doesn't do enough. Anna, he's a monster right now, and he is pulling down every single member of PSG LCD. The surge to the grave, and now he's gonna chase down Ame. Gets him with the unstable concoction, Ame can't get out, he's dead. The only main person of ESGLG that can survive the ones that made their way behind the tier 2 tower nice and early, both X Nova and maybe net worth lead for I think OG. I've already. personally seen it in the games that we've casted three times. Yeah. And uh, spoiler alert, all three times the Alk Chen combo won. That's in a hot stat for you right there. I'm sure Alan could tell me better. Chalice. He's trying to deal with that regeneration factor. Good, but they have so much regen that it all gets negated by the Chen. Maybe he just needs to farm, farm, farm. Add in another 50 damage for Anna's Alchemist, and now he's going to be even more affected, bringing down towers. But they have been split up a little bit. They're going to try and go for the bottom lane. They quickly execute X Nova. And trying to catch Somnus as well, cutting through the trees, but Jerex will make sure he cannot escape the ice path by Somnus a little bit more time. The TP coming in from Chalice as well. Can he get here in time? It's going to be the double ion shell burning away Somnus. The double brain surge just isn't enough protection. Thompson wants more. Doesn't have a toss up for two more seconds. Chalice going to give up on this top lane. He knows he's got to be careful here because now Hannah is going to come down from that high ground. And they've already used most of their TPs. They're going to be able to bring in what, somebody with no tail. They're going to heal up immediately. Ami's going to be able to cut his the way. The charge is coming across the map. Actually fine. Thompson has Blink Dagger up in a second. Can they actually chase down Ami, or is it going to be Axnova, whose life is going to be forfeit and set? In fact, Jerex is probably going to die here as he's charged in a bit too deep. The Avalanche, unstable concoction. They don't go for the sports. They go for the cores. They're still trying to finish up Ami here with the BKB activated by Anna. No tail going down underneath the sandstorm, but it's they're climbing tier threes. Die. Anna doesn't care about tier threes. He doesn't care about the tier fours even he's willing to die but the tp coming in from maybe somnus he's going to try and get the kill onto the thompson he is taking out bit by bit he has the spirit vessel but he is actually going to live the spirit poison is going to be enough it seems now challenge run down by anna anna is very low but he still has that aegis so somnus he commits heavily to build the finish him up but now he's stuck now he's trapped he's, he's actually stuck it's blocking man and now he's going to get oh the no Somnus thought he could get out again, but Thompson will deliver the finishing blow with Alpha Set for the triple kill. He walks in, his own illusion fights against him. PSG, LGD, there is no other way to say it. They, they are in this game raw. Yeah, they, they completely misread their strength, they misjudged. The fact that OG can dive into tier threes at 18 minutes into the game, the knockback from Jerax, who continues to be unafraid, slowly charging forward. And they're just going to die for it. He is going to wear out, but Anna is going to be able to get the counter kill onto the Shatter Demon. But now Anna is heavily extended himself, and he does have that BKB, but if he's changed up, so much magic damage, he may actually fall here in the Kevin Rage. Plus the BKB, where's the physical damage? He's going to get searched out. He's going to be searching away, now he's going to turn. He's going to re he's going to turn. What a bad man. He turns around and kills Shalit. Ame, they were all stunned up underneath the ice path. Another round of the Storm Hammer. Kevin Rage has worn out, but it's surged away once again. Maybe is back, but... You know, it's not just on him, right? It's got to be his team as a whole misreading how they were going to be able to play out this game, how they were going to be able to shut down the Alchemist. Both sides, five for control they here. They the fight for the bounty runes. Thompson. 
Ready to go. He's going to wait out the ice path. He can blink forward, toss back on Asomnus, or he can look for more. And he's going to look for more. And sure, he's going to grab Jared. Finds both of them. The and then double charge. The charge. Into the charge. Into the vacuum with the wall. What a sick combo from OG. Is now they look to be able to run down even more heroes. X Nova. Let's see if the concoction will actually stun himself. X Nova just playing a game ring around the rosy. But it has a deadly finish for X Nova. It's now 9 to 20. OG marching high ground in 20 minutes again. About an alchemist and how he's supposed to be ahead, but no way he's supposed to be this far ahead. Yeah, 17k. Normally when we say that, we mean like 5, 6. That's okay. 17. Yeah. You are behind. Chain stun, chain stun. They're going to be able to get two different stuns, but Somnus holds on to his, his tops, and makes his entrance back you back. He's going to be another with death. The double damage from Thompson and Anna dealing so much damage as well. Tier two to fall, and a tier three surely to follow as he is GLHD. They just lack the strength to be able to deal with this any longer. Thompson's going to be able to get his entrance into X Nova. Follow up on it. Chalice as Jarek's managed to get the nether strike onto him. Chalice burrow strikes away. And they're just going to call it. GG. Sven picked up his BKB, not even going to bother at this point. He understands how this game has been done in. I mean, Anna could have said it better, right? With this chat wheel as they oh, came Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Sam, the disrespect. I'm sorry, crowd. Where are you at? Excuse me? Where are you at? I don't hear you. Oh. It almost feels like the crowd's giving them a little bit extra motivation. Oh, yeah. You see, you see no tell. He says, I want all the smoke. Oh, gee. Don't give them a reason to play against you like that. They already showed it once. Not, actually, not once, but twice against EG. When they've got some vendettas on the line, OG shows up to play. And boy, did they in this game two. Absolutely perfect, as OD and Anna said in that game. What a victory for OG, 1-1 now. Yeah, you notice no booze this time.